he following me? And he would, this driver was making those decisions. You're right about that with the with the uh, you know the the officers making those changes of changing their minds. But again, it's one of those ones where you just it's not up to us it's somebody else making these decisions and you know it, it is a just you know is it just a stolen vehicle that is always a big question as well is that driver is stealing this vehicle the the least thing that the driver has done or is this the worst thing that uh is that uh the driver has done those are kind of always the issues but uh, in this case right now the speeds have you know slowed down but he's actually on streets out here we're on glen oaks and as far as where he's been going he's been, he's been making a big circle through the valley and that was also kind of an indication that this driver's not going somewhere this driver's just making these big loops and so that he was he knew he was being followed and he knew that this vehicle was stolen and he was just waiting for those lights and sirens but right now lapd they've really just backed out of this a hundred percent that car is driving a little bit slower i'm sure if what he's stopping kind of for almost no reason right there and then that was kind of an unusual move so if he does jump out chances are somebody at, at uh, in LAPD is watching our picture right now and if he does jump out there's a good chance they might try to uh, try to to take this person into custody but I just got word that uh, Dylan said that there's an LAPD helicopter going to be joining us here in just a moment or two so there's a possibility they may re-engage the pursuit maybe that was also one of the reasons they felt well you know what we don't have one of our helicopters over it so you know it, it did felt that the situation might be a little bit more dangerous but right now we're just kind of following this guy driving through the uh, Latuna Canyon area and um uh, Again, as long as he keeps those speeds normal and uh, doesn't do anything erratic, the public is safe and LAPD's tactics are working. That's you know, that that is it. That really is it. And again, you know, it it is one of those ones. Is is who is the guy behind the wheel? Is this just a person who stole a car? You know, that's bad in itself. But again, is this a person that does other crimes? Is there other things in that car? Uh, was there another crime committed with this vehicle? All those things are are kind of being weighed by the officer, the the sergeant, or the captain who's making those decisions, telling the officers on the ground, you know what, back out, just walk away. You know, we, we'll, we'll get this guy some other time. It's too dangerous for the public. Uh, but uh, as it stands right now, Dylan is probably working with the LAPD helicopter when they get closer. He'll probably guide them in. And then possibly, possibly we'll see this system change up. Maybe LAPD will re-engage. But right now, we're just kind of watching a stolen vehicle driving on the roads down there. Now we're making our way into the Shadow Hills area. He's very well aware that we're here. A lot of times I'll say, you know, the these uh, suspects don't know that we're here, but uh, I've seen him look out the window and look up at us a couple of times. So there's a there's a good possibility he knows that he's being followed by the helicopter. So maybe he's just looking for that spot, that opportunity to jump out and run from the car and maybe get away. And maybe that car will go back to its rightful owner. But again, you know, the, I'm sure a lot of folks at home want to see this person go into custody. There he is looking at us. Yeah, at this point, we haven't had that ability to kind of just look around in the car. And, and like I said, we've been having a little scanner issue this morning. So I couldn't hear what they were talking about. But you clearly see that suspect looking up at us every now and then. Appears to be a, a, a male, possibly white, but light-skinned for sure. You can see him right there again looking. He's looking right at us. So he, he knows Sky Fox is up here and keeping an eye on what he's doing. Uh, soon LAPD is going to be here as well. So we're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to keep looking at it. You know, my nickname once on the internet still is, is is sky snitch and it seems like this morning i'm living up to my name and that suspect down there keeping an eye on us i feel like he should be looking more at the road and little less at us but right now lapd they need to get their helicopter over here and keep an eye on him if he jumps out they might be able to get him into custody but again the tactics for lapd these guys know what they're doing they did back out of it and you do see those speeds right now the numbers are probably wrong because he's going up a hill maybe as we get a little bit tighter those uh, speeds will 
would be more correct. So he is technically speeding, but it's definitely not those 100 mile an hour on the freeway with weaving back and forth that we've been seeing. So definitely driving a little bit safer and of course less traffic out here as well. But right now it's one of those ones where we wait and see what LAPD's next move is and we'll keep you guys informed as it happens. Yep. Thank you. Oh, there's LAPD. Hey, Freddie, I'm really having trouble figuring out who is, who's following him, what's going on, but LAPD definitely is here. If they re-engage re the pursuit, just holler it in my ear, even if we're live or not, please. Copy. Copy.
VW. You no, know, he didn't carjack it. He did not carjack it. He actually probably made some phone calls, had one of his friends meet him here at a, at a gas station in the Silmar area. I believe we're probably off of Polk. Now, LAPD helicopter saw this as well. He actually parked that uh, stolen SUV right there at the gas station, at that 76 gas station, and then got in the backseat of this vehicle right here. Now we got back onto the freeway. We're going to be eastbound on the uh, Pasadena 210, but it does look like we're uh, ch changing lanes right now, so we might be getting on to the 118. Now, the LAPD PD been watching this as well. Again, though, it's a lot of effort, but you know what? This is what these criminals do. They use they use tech, and they uh, and they have friends that are going to help them out. But uh, right now, this is what's going on. LAPD, they're also aware of it. But this vehicle driving much safer. So the driver behind the wheel at least is uh, obeying the, uh, the the laws this morning. But again, it was a it was a good effort, I would venture to say, by that suspect, but not good enough. Uh, we were able to watch it. LAPD helicopter was above it as well. And right now, that black SUV, that suspect that was driving the stolen RAV4, now in the back seat of this vehicle. But is LAPD going to, are they going to pull him over? What are they going to do here? How are they going to handle this? This gets a little difficult. I know it's sad to say that being having a stolen vehicle is not that big of a crime anymore as far as law enforcement is concerned. So, you know, they're going to have to put in a lot of resources and a lot of effort. If they pull this vehicle over, they take that person into, into custody. They're going to have to do prints. They're going to have to do this and that. It's it's going to be an effort for law enforcement try just to try to enforce the fact that this person was behind the, the wheel of a stolen car that he abandoned. And again, is that the only thing he did? That's kind of the big question. Maybe they'll get that person and uh, run his name and then find out hey, is there, he's out He's out again. He decided to uh, take, a, take a little run right here. Uh, where are we? I'm sorry. We should actually uh, put up the map for everybody. Um, and you can see him, he's running underneath the bridge right there. We're at Glen Oaks, and that's going to be the 118, and he ran underneath the bridge. You saw the LAPD helicopter just flew through the shot as well, but we'll keep an eye on it. Maybe maybe he's going to meet another friend, and this time we won't be able to see that uh, rope-a-dope swap. But, again, the suspect uh, keeping a law enforcement and Sky Fox on our toes this morning. So uh, he ran out to the left of the freeway. That's what everybody's telling me. Um, law enforcement, the only one going to be, uh, is going to be the, uh, I'm sorry, is going to be the LAPD helicopter. There he is. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Relax, everybody. I got him. Uh, but I love the help. Uh, you, you, you guys don't know on television, on the uh, on the other end of this screen is everybody's uh, yelling at, at, at the, in the studio, like, where this person is in my ear, which is, is, is fantastic. I love it. But you can see him there going for a little jog this morning. And uh, LAPD, the helicopters got him as well. But we're going to keep an eye on him just to see where all this kind of what ends up. But, uh, again, this uh, suspect making a large effort to evade officers in, uh, from his stolen vehicle. There's that helicopter that I told everybody was there, but it's nice to have some uh, some visual verification. But again, just going for a nice jog. He's got his jogging suit on. He looks pretty relaxed and uh, keeping an eye on the helicopters, but slowing down, running out of steam. Maybe a little bit more exercise, a little less stealing would be better for your lifestyle. Uh, Yeah, it was a casual sense light jog, and I think what he was holding in his hand might have been might have been his hat. Got a bunch of people coming out looking. I thought maybe if that was his uh, was his destination. Turn it around. You know, I, we I I always love poking a little fun at these things, but you know, I do worry. Like when you see folks like that this morning, you got a family out there. They're they're getting ready to go to work, so there's a vehicle around. If this person stole a car, there's you know, you just don't want to see anything anybody get hurt or any kind of violence take place. And this is what kind of worries me you've got a family out there and if they don't know this person and they're you know let's say dad is out there getting getting in the getting in the car uh it, it's one of those ones where you just you you worry i worry that something's going to happen somebody's going to get hurt and uh and you know again I, now uh dylan is telling me that he's actually up the street but i don't see him uh, and yellow car yellow car in the yard that one
White steel fence. Oh, there he is. There he is. I went too far. Okay, so he's running again. And th you know what? This actually makes me feel better because, like I said, you had that innocent family right there. I saw somebody out there by one of the vehicles. I just didn't want to see him try to carjack or hurt somebody. And But right now, making his way back out towards the major street. And again, thank you, everybody, for helping me out. Like I said, I need more coffee. I know it's Friday, but it, it's been a rough start for me, kids. Uh, this is Pacoima. We're coming up onto Paxson and Glen Oaks. I believe we just made the little turn onto Glen Oaks right there. But this guy really starting to jog, jog more and more and more. Sky Fox Dylan is on it this morning. He sees that uh, we might start losing him behind buildings, and uh, that's what he's doing to move Sky Fox just to see if he runs around that corner. But again, the LAPD is getting closer. They're there. They're basically saying, sir, sir, could you please uh, just, and I'm, I'm sure he's exhausted. He's probably kind of like, thank goodness I get to take a little bit of a break. There you go. LAPD officers taking him into custody. And again, law enforcement getting that uh, guy that stole that vehicle. He's in the custody right now. LAPD doing their job. And what a bunch of resources to get this guy uh, into custody. But again, this keeping the public safe, that is the job, and that is what they're doing. And this morning, they got that suspect and it uh and nobody was hurt and no and no no, no property damage as well Pro probably Okay. That was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> really? Oh, really? I thought other people were here. What? Uh, top of the seven. Copy all. Sky Snitch, living up to its name. <laughs> uh, pick up a, tra a normal traffic now or 650? Okay, let's see. They'll probably have him in the car and they'll be gone. Copy. 